Oh, 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 oh. And I haven't got my armor on. Ah. Zombie horde, I can do it. Out. <gasps> I have to be more careful with my introductions. <laughs> Hello, Blossom Stramer Smith here in Alphacraft at my base. Today I'm going to build something right here. I'm going to build a town hall. Well, I'm going to start building a town hall. There's going to be quite a bit to it, but I want to get started. But first, oh, and I want it to be visible from when you get off the train. That's why it's got to be here. But let's go check if I have everything I need. Otherwise, we'll have a little resource gathering session first. We're in the mason's yard. Um, no, I do not have enough sandstone. Okay, we've got to go gathering sandstone. I'm okay for stone. I'll have to make some stone brick. Yep. I've got enough quartz to start with. Yeah, I've got enough to start with. No, I do not have anywhere near enough white terracotta. Okay, off to the mining desert, off to the mining mesa. Right, we're back. Before we head over, I'm just going to throw some sandstone and some quartz into furnaces to make smooth stone. I'm sure that won't be enough, but it'll get us started. Now, I want a little bit of a garden and an approach. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, is that far enough back? Maybe? Those are going to have to move. Okay, it's not too wide at the front. It will be wider at the back. And the entrance is directly in line with this path. And here was me merrily chatting away to myself and I realised I hadn't even pressed record. <laughs> But it doesn't matter too much because I'd stuffed up anyway. Um, I'm just... I've roughly mapped out where it's going in dirt. There is no back wall at the moment because there is going to be a structure behind it. Yet yeah, this, this is kind of big, but it is the town hall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And now I'm just putting in the foundations, which are stone brick. That's marked out. Uh, I think it's right. And yeah, there's a bit sticking out there and not a bit sticking out here. That's okay. This is largely symmetrical, but not entirely. Before I go any further, I really want to start building the front because that will tell me if I've done this right. I have been planning in a creative world. I'm just going to go grab that quartz and sandstone and then we'll get building. So we'll start with 
Oh, getting rid of some of this, sorry. I should have a bucket of water with me. I think if I do this, and then this. That looks right. And I think we'll do that. That looks better. And then that looks best. And we'll start building up the entrance. Right, I've already got different numbers on one side than the other. Mm. That doesn't instill confidence <laughs> at all. And I don't know what to do with the porch floor, so... At the moment, I'm just jumping past it. Alright, as entrances go, it's okay. We're going to have to do something about this. Right, until I can get something else worked out for the porch, that will do. It will at least allow me to walk backwards and forwards. What do I need now? White terracotta. It's a funny name because it's pink, although when I was mining it in the Mesa, thank you train sounds, it looks sort of mushroom coloured when it's up against the other greys. That's not right. Uh, gap of two, gap of two, and then what's that quartz? Yeah. Okay. Now well, let's see if this is spaced correctly. And that's right. All right, I've got to go put a lot more sandstone back in to cook. A lot more. Well, that's the front. That's not too bad. Oh, I've got to knock out the windows there. Yeah, silly me. Um, I think we might get on with this little side bit, which is another entrance and is also the base of a clock tower. Yeah. So we're going to need some of these. Two there. Three leave a gap of three and I'll show you why in a second. I've got some smooth quartz stairs. I'm churning through the smooth quartz. Oh, night time again. So quick. Now this town hall is a viewer build. I should have said that right at the beginning. Oh, I'm all over the place today. It was suggested by UK Granny Gamer. UK Granny Gamer is a fellow YouTuber. I'll put a link in the description to her channel. She also streams on Twitch. 
she's a lot of fun. Now, I asked UK Granny Gamer if she wanted to be named mayor or some sort of councilman or something, council person, and she said no, she wants uh, something for suffragists. I think that's a fabulous idea. We will get round to that, although that will be a little way in the future. This is going to take me a while to build and then to decorate, but we will get to it. Um, another one that has the problem of the floor. And we will solve that problem. Same way we solved the other one. And this is by no means a permanent solution. It's just for now. So I just keep worrying that I'm doing this wrong. I'm probably not, but... You know, I worry about it. Uh, a stair. I think a stair goes there, which means a stair goes here as well. Okay, let's go put some more quartz on to smelt. Oh, I seem to be doing nothing but running backwards and forwards to make smooth sandstone and smooth quartz. Oh, that's not looking too bad. Um, I mean, all right. It looks like a film flat at the moment, frankly, but I like the colours and I quite like the style. And the style is actually called, I found out what it's called. I mean, this is the same sort of style as the Workers Institute and it's called Victorian Free Classical. I suspect the Victorians just called it Free Classical or called it something else entirely. But it's quite a popular style for municipal and stately buildings in East Coast Australia from about the 1880s. You see quite a lot of buildings like this and like that. And quite frankly, the design for this town hall is a mashup of two town halls that I quite like that are down in Sydney. One's in Glebe near Sydney University and the other is in Leichhardt and I've sort of taken the two of them and mashed them together quite brutally but hopefully it'll work. All right enough waffling. Oh too much waffling. No. Ah. What am I doing? That's better. Oh, I hope I'm making this the right size. And I really have to miss that. Miss, I really have to move the chorus fruit. I might do that now. And then when I've done that, I'll go over and check if that um, quartz has finished cooking. Because we really need it before we go on. We'll have to find somewhere for the chorus for it to go. Now, to be absolutely honest with you, there's a couple of things I'm worried about with this. One is running out of materials, which isn't that big an issue. It just means another trip to the mining mesa and the mining desert. The other thing that I'm worried about, which is a bit harder to fix if it's a problem, is the scale of this thing. I wanted it to be significantly larger than the Workers' Institute, and it is but I'm worried that it's going to be too large for the town. In which case I might just have to make the town bigger. <laughs> which is a drastic solution, but a solution nonetheless. <laughs> uh, um, do I do that? I think so. I mean, there's... Suburbs and indeed whole towns in Australia 
where they've got this massive town hall and then just little workers' cottages all around it and it doesn't really... I can't say there's no need for it to be that big, but there's no need for it to be that big. Either they had a lot of civic pride, oh, and they all tend to be built around the 1880s. And in this Victorian free classical. So either they had a lot of hope for their towns or they were suffering a bit from delusions of grandeur. I'm not quite sure which it is. Only now I'm worried that I may be suffering from delusions of grandeur. So I can't really say anything, can I? Um, what have I done? What have I done? Something's not right. That's in the wrong spot. Okay. Well, at least I realised before I got too far. Right, I think that's everything shifted. Right, let's try again. Chiseled sandstone, cut sandstone, cut, cut and chiseled. And now this goes there. As I said, let's see if we can get this right this time. All right, let's see if I've got that right. That is much better. <laughs> ah, my brain's really on holiday at the moment. Well, actually, no, I think it's just tired because it's like half past three in the morning. <laughs> that would be enough to do it. Oh, goody. There we are, we've made a start. Well, we've made a bit more than a start. We've built less than half of the outer shell of the first part. Yeah, all right, we've made a start. <laughs> you have to imagine that that's going to be about twice as tall. Well, I think it's um, a nice compliment to the Workers Institute. Uh, I think it's also a sufficient contrast to it. You can tell this is the finer building that's had more money spent on it. Uh, we'll come back to this another day. I have had enough at the moment and I am starting to run out of materials. So I'm going to have to go and get some more. And I'm, I'm definitely going to have to make some more smooth sandstone and some more smooth quartz. This is taking a lot more than I thought it would and I'm probably going to have to go and get some more white terracotta. Hmm, we'll get there. UK Granny Gamer, let me know in the comments if this is the sort of thing that you are after. Or if you want me to make any changes. Uh, I'm going to quit while I'm behind because I'm really tired. It's about four in the morning now. I really need to go to sleep. But in the meantime, there's cards on the end screen to some more of my videos if you want to keep watching. And I will see you back here next time. Bye!